Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouching. Last time we finished off uh, Mount Volbona, we got all the B-side moons in one go, it wasn't very hard, compared to the video before which was very hard. Uh, this time we're going to be doing every moon here in Crumbledon. Uh, Crumbledon is very small because like the Cloud Kingdom, it's basically just here for a boss battle. Uh, all we got to do, basically, is open that moon rock, uh, and then there'll be, I think, ten moons to do. Anyway, we're going to start by opening the moon rock. And we'll see exactly how many moons we have. Uh, you can see there's a sub area to do over this side. A couple of other things. Uh, we look at the moon counter now. Yeah, ten. There's ten moons to do, and we've done... We've done the multi-moon already, so... We have nine more moons to collect. Uh, I'm not expecting this to be very hard. Oop. I'm, I don't think it'll be a difficult kingdom. Um, there is a 2D area, but I don't think it's a particularly hard one. We'll see how we go. Um, first thing we're going to do is just head over here. Uh, we could have gotten this earlier. You can actually get this particular moon. Oops. Uh, you actually... Uh, you can get this particular moon the first time you visit Crumbledon. Uh, it's not enough, though, because you need three moons, and the only way to get three moons is by fighting the boss to get the multi-moon. Uh, this is annoying. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, all you got to do to get the moon is just come over here. You can see there's this little... Gra grabbable, ledgy thing here. You just gotta make your way around. It's not actually hard, I just messed it up because I'm, I'm not good at video games. There's a bunch of coins down here. I think these are here in case you can't afford to buy a life apart, uh, since there's no other way to leave this kingdom. Um, and you'd be otherwise stuck if you couldn't do the boss without one. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So yeah, that's one moon uh, out of nine. We are going to do them all in this video, so, you know, look forward to it. Uh, if we jump back on here and just make our way over again. There's one just hiding uh, up there on top of that ledge now. Uh, that one's from the moon rock, I think. As with the Cloud Kingdom, a lot of the stuff here is in the moon rock. Um, compared to just a few, like, a small amount of stuff in the other kingdoms. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So that's easy. Uh, we're gonna zap our way over to the main area with the dragon now. There's the dragon. It's still here, it's kind of hilarious. It doesn't attack you again or anything, it just sort of sits there. Um, so over here we can see Peach and Tiara, we're gonna, get, we're gonna, get, gonna chat to them. Yeah, I could say that. <laughs> oh, I ship it so much. Look at those cuties. Oh my gosh, they're in love. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's pretty obvious what she's hinting about, so I won't tell you, but you can probably figure it out. Uh, there's one of these rocks over here. The, um... You know, the rolling rocks that have moons in them. Uh, so we're going to break this rolling rock in, in, in half a Z-press. Uh. Also, they're just talking to each other and being cute. That's gay. You can hear a little giggle. That's, that's so cute. Okay, uh, anyway, we want to break this. Basically, you just need to keep knocking it around until it finally breaks. It takes a lot of hits. This is really annoying. <laughs> It was ridiculous. Pretty sure I'm doing this right. 
takes a really long time. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> How long is this thing going? <laughs> there we go. Oh my god. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh, we come over here to the dragon, and we look closely, you can see one of the dragon's horns is actually shimmering. Uh, because if we throw Cappy at that horn... Cappy! She's cute as heck and gives us another moon, there we go. Uh, let's make our way down there. Yeah! So that's five, uh, there's four more to do, and that's the two sub-areas. There's one rocket over there, and there's one of the moon rock pipes behind the Odyssey. So we'll be doing this one first, since it's right here. I forget which one's which, so we'll see what this is about. Oh, it's this one. Okay, so this one, it would, would have been impossible, but it's not. Because it turns out you can actually do 2D areas without any trouble. Basically, this is about hitting the P-switches at the right time to get the platform where you want it. Uh, I think you want it on the bottom. This might be a bit tricky. I usually use Cappy here to throw at the platforms. Throw at the P-switches. You don't have to, so the, but it makes the timing easier. There we go. As you can see, you're rewarded with a couple of coins when you do it right. This might take a few tries. We have to actually do this a couple of times because the switches are always outside of the 2D sections. <sighs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I've had to do this in a while. So this is this is possible. I'm just messing it up. The timing is really strict. I'm gonna. I might try using some um, pause buffering. Yes, I did it. Okay, so yeah, you crouch all the time, and you can only move by jumping. So you have to just hop around basically to get anywhere. And it's annoying, but completely doable, as you can see. Uh, this part you can normally just run across. Oh no! Yeah. Yeah, I was worried about that. Um... Okay. <laughs> okay, we can just roll into those instead of throwing Cappy at them. I think the timing's a little... less lax. Come on, let me back in. Oh my god. This is so rude. Let me in there. Worked once. You all saw it. <laughs> Maybe if I hold up instead of. Maybe it's going to be the direction I'm holding on the stick? I don't know. Okay, I was holding right instead of up there, and that worked a lot more easily. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, you go up here. Uh, this part, I'm going to have to be a bit more precise than normal, because, yeah, you can just run across this, because it's. Whoa, one tile gaps. But because we can't run while in a 2D section, we have to carefully jump between the blocks instead. All 
right, I'm gonna try holding right and see what happens. No, it's the same as before. There we go. Okay, it took two tries instead of like a zillion, so that's a bit better. Alright, so here... I guess I'll take it real slow. This is completely possible, obviously, because they're one-tile gaps, so you can jump over them without any hassle. Uh, okay, and then you just come back out of the 2D section here. Here, there's two of these blocks that you want to get in the right position. I forget what the position is. Uh, I think it's there? Yes. Okay. There we go. Okay. Uh, again, we have a vertical pipe because, of course, we do. It's going to take a little while. There we go. Uh, you can backtrack by going up that left direction, but there's, there's no reason to do so, so I won't. Okay, we're doing fine so far. Oh no! Another one! Okay. Uh, we actually have to go both directions here. There's a thing around here. Oh, right, we have to bring a shell. Okay. Well, we can do that. Basically, yeah, you want to get the shell from one of these Coopers. And take it with you over that direction in order to break all those blocks that we saw a moment ago. Uh, you can't actually get the shell because you can't pick shells up in this game. Uh, similar to the original Mario, I think. But yeah, once you've broken that, you can just go this way. And hit another vertical pipe! <laughs> this is the area of vertical pipes. Oh my gosh. So yeah, this is just another one of these roulette platform thingies. It's not hard. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So that's one. Uh, the other one is at the top of the tower, and you go there by going the normal way, basically. <laughs> Let's jump over this pipe, so we have to go through it again. There we go. Um, and we'll have another roulette tower! Yay! Basically, you want to get all three of those blocks into the right sort of spot, so you can reach that pipe on the far right side there. Uh, it doesn't really matter that much where you put them, provided you can get there. Uh, you can actually stack them in different spots and it'll still work. But it is best to do it this way, because you get the coins. Oops. Oh well. <laughs> uh, we should be able to make that jump without any problem, so... Okay, what I'm doing is holding right as I come out of the pipe, and that seems to make it easier to time the pipe exit. I'm not sure why. Anyway, that's it. That's that. That's the whole thing. There's the moon. <laughs> yeah! So, that's probably the hardest part of this because of pipe entry difficulties. Uh, there's just a couple more moons to do, so it shouldn't be too much of a trouble. Too much of a hassle. We have, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight out of ten. Yeah, okay. So yeah, we just sat back over here, and there'll be, just near the Odyssey, there is now a Moonrock Pipe, which we can enter. Uh, this sub area is pretty easy. Uh, basically what you've got, uh, apart from this great music, is when you go down there, you'll see there's a bunch of those, um, like the mummies from, um, Fosterina, these guys. And they just sort of swarm everywhere, so all you have to do is get over to the far side of the room to free this guy and capture him in order to get rid of them.
Oops, that's not good. Um, what you actually have to do is break this crate cage with him, uh, but he can also swarm through those guys pretty well, so that's handy. You can just, you know, walk up here. Bam, there we go. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Uh, the other moon here, it always kind of baffled me to begin with. Uh, you can see there's some breakable blocks against the wall there, but the moon is not behind them. Like, when you break through there, which we're about to do, you can see all there is in there is a bunch of coins. But when you go in there, it also spawns um, more, of the, more of the mummies up there on the top level. So what you have to do now is go up there, and fight the mummy that has the 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 moon, <laughs> the one that's sparkling. <laughs> oh my god! Which is that one? Easy peasy. Yeah, but that baffled me for a while because I was like, "Where's the other moon?" Uh, yeah. And with that, that's the entire ruined kingdom done. Crumbled and is very short. Uh, And we're done here, that's all you gotta do. Uh, if we now look at our moon count, 10 out of 10, as you can see. And if you look on the Odyssey here, cash in these moons, we have yet another dot on our globe circle. <laughs> Oddly enough, the dot, I believe, is this one. Like, and the one for um, Mount Volbono is this one next to it. For some reason, they're the wrong way around. I don't know why, uh, because Normally, you know, it orbits around this direction. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, anyway, that's it for this kingdom. Uh, in the next video, we will be making our way over to Balzat's castle. Uh, which has a lot of moons to offer, actually, even though you didn't have to get very many of them in the first place. There's a lot to do here, and it's quite exciting. So, I'm looking forward to it. I don't know if anyone else is looking forward to it. Uh, anyway, here it is. Make a landing. Uh, so yeah, in the next video we're going to start getting moons here. Uh, because we already did the story here, since we were forced to, we don't have to go and reset the kingdom or anything, so that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, we do, let me see, 7 out of 45. So yeah, you can see there's 45 more moons, well there's 45 moons to get here. Uh, none of those are multi-moons, the ones we haven't gotten yet. So there's quite a lot to do. Um, and there's a moon rock, so yeah, this is a fairly large kingdom, actually. Uh, it's a lot of fun, and I'm going to enjoy it, but yeah, um, that's, that's for the next video. Uh, for now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed our visit to Crumbledon, short though it was. And yeah, I'll see you soon in the next video when we tackle this kingdom here. This very large kingdom here. <sighs> Thanks for watching! <laughs>